Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Daisy. In today's video, I will show you how to do laser engraving on stainless steel tumblers using the X-Tool laser engraver machine. For this project, we will need to use the X-Tool rotary accessory for M1. These are all the tools that come in the kit. I will link all of the supplies used in this tutorial in the video description below. To engrave on the stainless steel tumblers, I will use only these tools. I will start with the tutorial. First, we will need to remove the working surface of the X-Tool M1 machine. This tape measure comes with the kit and we will use it to measure the tumblers. There are two things that we need to consider when measuring the tumblers. For example, when measuring this tumbler, we see that it points us the red color, the letter C and the gamma symbol. The letter C indicates that we need to have this roller on the letter C. If it showed letter B, we will have to move the roller to the letter B. For this, we will need a screwdriver. Now the symbol indicates us on which side we should place the wooden blocks. These blocks have three sides, alpha, beta, and gamma. For example, for this tumbler, it's showing us that we need to place the block on the gamma symbol. After this, we need to place the working surface on the machine, the one that we removed at the beginning. Now we will connect the rotary accessory to the machine. Now we're going to place the tumbler that we are going to engrave. I'm going to engrave a skinny tumbler. This one is a straight skinny tumbler, so we won't use this part. To make sure the tumbler is level, let's use this level that come with the kit. As you can see, this one is already leveled. Doesn't need the other part. Now, if we need to engrave a conical tumbler, then we will need to use this other tool. Use the level, place the bottom of the tumbler on top of this tool, and adjust the height using this knob. And this tumbler is leveled, it's ready to be engraved. Right now, I'm not going to engrave this one, I'm going to engrave this skinny tumbler. Again, I'm not going to need this other tool. Now, let's go to the computer. And we're going to start working with the design using the X-Tool Creative Space. The machine already took a picture of the working area. If your computer doesn't show the picture, just click here on refresh and you'll be able to see the picture of your tumbler or the working area. Now here we're going to change it from laser flat to laser cylindrical. It changed the orientation. 
Now there you're going to be able to see a green line. Grab it and place it beside your tumbler. Now for the design, you can create your own here on the Xtool Creative Space or you can also insert a design that you already have on your computer. I am going to use a design that I already have on my computer. Click on image, select the folder where you have your design, select it and open it. There is three designs here, but I'm just going to use one. Now select the design and before placing it on top of the tumbler, we're going to change it to engrave. Now it's going to look solid. Now I'm going to place the design on top of the tumbler. The blue area is the bottom and the white area is the top of the tumbler. If the tumbler is on the opposite side, you will have to rotate the design. Now I'm going to resize the design. For this skinny tumbler, I'm going to place a design that measures 6.5 inches. Now the design will need to be right beside the green line. Now that the design is ready, we're going to go ahead and measure the distance between the tumbler and the laser. Click here on this ruler so the machine measure it automatically. Sometimes the machine won't automatically measure it, so you will have to do it manually. I will show you really quick how to do that process. Go to the X2 support page, download one of those files so you can create your own focus ruler. For that you will need three millimeter basswood. The red area is going to be the engraving and the black area is going to be the cut. Once you create your ruler, you can use that one to measure the distance between the tumbler and the laser. Measure the distance as shown in the picture. Hopefully you don't have to do this. It works most of the time for me. Now that it already measured the distance, we will have to move the green line to the side again and also the design. In material, we're going to leave user defined material. On mode, we're going to select roller. Now select the design and here we're going to change the parameters. On power, we're going to type 100% and on speed, we're going to type 30. These parameters works for me, but feel free to make your own tests. Next, we're going to frame the design to make sure it's well aligned on the tumbler. Now click on framing. If the design is on the right place, go ahead and process the engraving. Click on process. It already finished engraving. If it looks black, don't worry, that's normal. To clean it, I like to use the magic eraser and a dry paper towel. 
Remember to check the description below since there I'm going to link all of the supplies used in this tutorial. I love how it turned out. As you can see, it's very easy to engrave on tumblers using the Xtool M1 machine. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support this channel by subscribing, liking and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.